the deceptiveness of Uzodima with end police brutality by Imo Youth. The fallacy of Uzodima's solidarity with end police brutality by Imo Youth. The most fallacious display of solidarity was by the current chief driver in Imo State, Hope Uzodima. He was reported to have told the brave and bold Imo Youth on the Aluta Rush that we have decided to support you or so. That was one very much pretended characteristic decision by Uzodima. We so assert because Ndimo must have lost count of how many times Imo youths were raided, paraded, abused, insulted and molested by police of all formations, with the opposition lamenting the undemocratic, despotic, gestapo style of policing in Imo State. Mm -hmm. At such different times, Uzodima didn't find it fit enough to decide to support the Imo youth traumatized with public opprobrium by mm -hmm. assorted mm -hmm. police units. It's really a cowardly deceptive show of solidarity for Uzodima that never cared for Imo youth to now stand and say we have decided to support you. Courtesy of Uzodima, Imo State is Nigerian unemployment capital according to a report by the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS. Courtesy of Uzodima, Imo State is the worst road capital of Nigeria. Courtesy of Uzodima, Imo State is protest capital of Nigeria. And amidst all of that, security operatives of all sorts will lay Ndimo here and there, stopping and searching them, violating their privacies, scrutinizing their handsets, delaying them, detaining them, and subjecting them to all manner of dehumanization. And where was Uzodima? He was neither here nor there. He was nowhere to be found. To support Imo youths and all the security operatives to order. He was running Imo from Abuja and Edo diaspora with his reported newly acquired private jets. While Indimo were lay in poverty, that he sharing in the state. Suddenly, Uzodima stood and declared to ebullient Imo youths on Aluta, enough is enough that we have decided to support you. That was one support too late. How has Uzodima supported Imo youths by that address? Probably that will be answered when police brutality is actually seen to have abated and truly ended in Imo state. Yet Uzodima can only support Imo youths if he starts to use Imo money in Imo State to engender development, employment, and jobs for Imo youths. Also, parents and relations of Imo youths should be paid 100% salaries and pensions by Uzodima enough of abracadabra payments of salaries and pensions by Uzodima. Most importantly, Uzodima should use Imo money to fix Imo roads that it has neglected and even abandoned for his near one year in office. Those and only those actions by Uzodima will be good enough to prove that he has decided to support Imo youths. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, you can see it is only those that wear the shoes we tell you how it pinches them. People outside Nigeria, people in the diaspora, people in other states listening to Uzodima, you know, saying all of these things concerning Imo State, saying that I am ready to support you, I am ready to stamp at you, enough is enough, we feel that Uzodima is a good man. <laughs> Hey, it is 
those that wear the shoes that knows uh, where it pinches them the people of emo state are telling you how they feel they are telling you the reality what they are telling you is the truth so you better take it Uzodima is a pretender you he is claiming all of these things with us he is he has never done anything good since he has an office in emo state you are he is saying that he is ready to support the emos in the emo to put an end to police brutality whereas he has been the one making use of these police people to humiliate intimidate and lock up a lot of emo youths in prison Uzodima is a pretender. He should not be believed. You people must not believe him. You understand? So the people of Imo State have just given you an highlight of all that they are going through. They have just given you a breakdown of what they are passing through in the hands of Hope Uzodima. They are telling you that all that he has just said it's a lie i felt it i knew it that this man is just lying he's just lying pretending to be good and anyone that sees him would say oh what a good governor asiasi asiasi you can see these are the emo youths testifying these are the emo youths testifying saying it is not true you must not believe him before he will come out and say that he's in support of anything let him take care of this and this that and that you want to support the people of emo state yet you you are still the same person that is using the same police people mm -hmm. to humiliate and intimidate the people you want to support the emo, emo people yet you cannot even pay attention to the road that you promise the people of Imo State that you are going to repair. You raise their hope so much on high, promising them Julius Bega to come and repair their road, whereas the dates you, the, the, the Julius Bega, they have not seen. And you are almost completing a year in office. When is the Julius Bega going to come? Is it, on, is it when you are out of office that is when they are going to come? Onyase, isibonwen. Isibonwen. Yes. Allow me to tell him, tell him, say to him, because he has never been a good governor since he assumed office. Uzo di mabonyase. Uzo di mabonyase. So everybody must know that he is a liar. Let's call it spade a spade and tell ourselves the truth. You understand? It's a deceiver, a cheat, and a liar. My viewers, what is your take? Please, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.